All right, hey, hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we're here with the 350Z chasing down the Alteza and the 240 in front of us. Got all sorts of people online doing all sorts of stuff. I hope you all have an amazing day. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully your week is going well so far. In today's video, we're going to be trying to go for 10 to 12,000 score as a top, and then we'll just do an outro, and that'll be it. Uh, yesterday's video, we got 18,749. That's why it was a bit longer, right? We had 23 minute long video yesterday. I definitely suggest you go over and tune into that video, check it out. We ended up being able to 360 to save ourselves because so someone hit us. We 360 to save ourselves and then kept our score train throughout this throughout the 360 and continued on from around like seven or eight thousand all the way up to eighteen thousand so close to twenty thousand so close and i'd like to go for twenty thousand but if people don't want to watch the high score videos then not really much point in going for it right we'll just stop at around twelve thousand or so which people seem to be happy with and people seem to like like the length of the video and that's perfect so we'll just do that whoa hopefully you all enjoy but yeah I definitely suggest you go and check that out by far the craziest tandems and trains we've ever had on the channel it was insane never had so much fun tandeming with people and it was just everyone it was it was full on trains for the entire 18,000 it wasn't just solo drifting for any it was insane oh my lord oh now for today yeah we're just gonna try and get up to 10 to 12,000 here I've already been on here for a while trying to see what's up and see who's tandeming see who's able to get around and so far it seems like pretty much everyone is just there a lot of us are just warming up and as we get going we're getting better and then there's a few players who have already been on for a while so obviously right there already warmed up and then there's the few players who don't seem to understand how to play the game <laughs> so today we really have just an, uh, a mix of everyone from all ranges it's absolutely crazy on here today yesterday was literally just people able to tandem there was no one messing up it was abs it was insane I've never seen it before while today we have a more regular lobby again <laughs> like look at that e36 he's gonna try and jump in here at some point for some reason I don't know what he's doing um, but yeah like he's already hit me off the track three different times and now he's hopping on behind us again um, I don't know why he keeps hopping in behind us. Literally off camera, he's hit us off the track three different times. It's very frustrating at this point. To, I don't know why he keeps hopping in behind me just to hit me off the track. Oh, buddy. That was a nice, crazy angle before the transition by that Alteza. We were able to hold it with him, though. That was beautiful. Oh, he tapped the wall. He tapped the wall there. That was a close call. Holy crap, guys are putting down some beautiful leads, eh? Oh, sh Oh my lord. Yeah, uh, wow. That was gnarly, eh? Holy crap. What a crash on he's saying sorry. Oh, that's all good, dude. My score train is still going. We're still going literally didn't even lose our score we were able to keep drifting through his crash thankfully it's a it's a game right if this was real life the car would be totaled <laughs> oh my lord that was a crash and a half right there dude that was insane holy crap oh man let's see if we can just catch back up to him here i'm, I'm assuming he's a couple corners ahead He's probably already hopped back on before we got around to the start. He's probably that car right up ahead, just a corner or so. Let's see what we can do here. We got that E36 behind us again, so I really want to try and find someone to be leading us. Make this slightly easier. 
it just makes me very nervous to have this E36 following us after being hit by him so many times. Hopefully we can hold this together. Very stressful lead run. Seem to be getting it done though. That's good. This is definitely progress. This is progress when it comes to lead runs, eh? I remember a couple months ago I couldn't lead run and even just the thought of lead running I would start messing up the chases and even then like it, just go back 50 videos or so even maybe even less than that and there's all these pauses of 30 seconds to a minute throughout the entirety of the video because I just kept I, I, I kept stopping right I wouldn't talk and now well most of the video has my nonsensical bullshit throughout it <laughs> <laughs> and uh, y'all seem to enjoy it. I can't, I can't thank y'all enough for it. Like, it means the world to me to have y'all actually watch this and enjoy this and get up and do what you got to do for the day, right? If that's exercising, taking care of yourself, cleaning up the house, spending time with family, cooking some good food. Ooh, ho, ho. That was a close over rotation there. Oh my lord. Or if it, hey, if it, whatever it has to do with work, right? You got a new project this week. You've got a boss who's a jerk, right? You've got some you've got some coworkers who don't treat you properly. It really sucks. Or maybe you're at school and you're getting bullied. Oh man, I I was bullied all through middle school and high school, right? There was one day I had them try and corner me in the stairwell and try and kick my ass. A whole group of guys, and uh, he was acting all tough, and then showed up with a group of guys, and uh, I got myself out of there and then was like what the hell and uh, the teacher saw it all happened and was like well you're all right so uh they're not like <laughs> i was just a kid and just had a random group of guys who were older than me and like all football guys right I, they all hated me because i just I was the skater kid who just hung out with everyone right i hung out with all the different guys i hung out with all the different girls didn't matter who you were, I hung out with you, right? These guys did not like that. <laughs> basically, this group of guys was jealous of me for being able to basically go from any group around school and hang out with whoever I wanted without really, right? Most people liked me, right? I was a pretty liked person. Like, I was just friendly with everyone. I was the guy who was friends with everyone in school. I wore my hat all the time. The teachers never told me to take it off. I, I had my own special way of putting my hat on. I always had my skateboard with me. I was just, I was my own person, right? And everyone, a lot of people fucked with it. Uh, it's just, you have this group of people that are gonna bully you because they're jealous, right? And so that was a kerfuffle throughout high school. They even at one point stole my, they stole one of my hats from the girls because like, the girls always wanted to wear my hats because like it, it was my thing right every day even to this day i wear a hat every single day i don't know why i just love my hats it's just something it, it it's like it's a safety blanket right like it's just when i don't have my hat i literally feel naked it's weird um and so i've just always worn a hat and throughout high school i had this dgk hat and it had weed on the brim right like pot leaves and everyone loved it and to me it was just whatever right it was just a skateboard company hat it didn't i didn't care about the weed right the teachers didn't care about the weed either because there was i didn't smoke at the time uh and even when i did start to smoke it didn't matter right the teachers didn't care that i smoked i still got all my work done and actually i did better work while smoking and the teachers credited me for that like in my final english class with my english teacher of grade 10 he actually made a joke about how i started the year kind of closed off and just you know keeping to myself to now smoking and being a whole new person and just being this happy like go lucky guy and it was just yeah i don't know this this the teachers saw that it helped me and it wasn't just abuse right Unfortunately, when I moved out, I did start to abuse it and uh, went through a period of time with pills and alcohol as well. But I've talked about that and 
I'm four years, three and a half, four years sober, something like that at this point. I don't even freaking know or care. <laughs> Some people wouldn't consider it actually sober since I still smoke weed. So, And because at this point, um, I can still drink alcohol if I want. I don't like alcohol. I'll drink it if I want and just have a sip of it. I'm fully in control of that. I'd never... <laughs> right on vacation I had a sip of alcohol and haven't had any since right um, <laughs> it just doesn't it's not my thing right I don't I don't crave being drunk or anything same with the pills right I have I got pain medication for my back and it, it works and it even gives me a bit of a high and I don't want that you know what I mean like it's still just sitting there at this point it might have gone bad like <laughs> I just just I, uh, I'd rather deal with it all naturally and try and exercise and stretch and eat properly and slowly make progress, but make real progress than just trying to give it a cover-up band-aid that you then feel like you're all right. And so you don't even know when you need to exercise of a certain kind or this or that because there's no pain. It's really uh, backwards. <laughs> oh man, that 240 and Alteza did a beautiful switch there, eh? Holy crap. Oh my, and uh, so yeah, if, you, if you're dealing with being bullied, just know that it happens to damn near everyone, and oh no, oh frig, yeah, as I was trying to say there, dang, I guess we're not getting a 10 to 12,000 in this episode, eh, we got some nice runs, but just not quite a high score, <laughs> but as I was trying to say, yeah, most times when you're getting bullied, it's because people are jealous of you, right? you got something they don't have, and they want it, and they can't get it, and so they're going to make fun of you, right? That's just how kids work. Uh, I wish I understood that more when I, was a, when I was a kid. I'm still young, right? I'm only 23, but I still feel like I've grown up and realized quite a bit more about high school now that I'm out of it. And I've been out of it since I was... Well, I left at 7. I actually dropped out of high school at 18. And then once I got sober from pills, within a month or two, I was back enrolled in high school. And then during the few months of finishing my high school diploma, right? I, I finished high school. I got my diploma. And during those few months of going back to high school, I actually got audited by the government. <laughs> and won and they then paid me a shoot ton of money that I then realized they owed me and so I took that right they were wanting money out of me and I was like wait a second no you guys owe me money and uh, so yeah I, I beat the audit and then they owed me a ton of money it was a great time <laughs> oh, it was freaking oh man it was so stressful holy crap it was like six months of dealing with an audit on a daily basis Right? Every day lawyer calls about this audit, but then also every day schooling calls because it was during COVID, so I had to do it all on the phone. And I didn't like using the computer. I really wasn't good at online schooling, so I just did it over the phone with one of the teachers. And uh, I went to an alternative school, right? So there's only a few students, so they can give you a couple hours of help over the phone here and there. And so that's how I did it. Oh. Oh, come on. You're going to try and cut it here and see if we can catch up to this R32 nice and smoothly. Beautiful on that corner. Oh, are you kidding me? He over-rotated. That's unfortunate. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch this next guy then, oh. Hey, this is 240 here. We should be able to catch this guy and get some decent tandem out of it to end this video. I hope you've all enjoyed so far. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's been an absolute blast making this video for y'all, and hopefully I motivate y'all to get up and do what you got to do. I know it's not easy, but just please keep pushing, honestly. Like, it is... I know how hard it can be to not have a... to be bullied at school and to not feel like you have a safe home space and to just feel like everything is crumbling around you i know how that feels and it is horrible right you feel like there's no way out but i'm telling you right now right there is eventually a way out right we just gotta keep pushing 
I still feel like that on an almost daily basis, right? I'm not making money from this YouTube thing, right? I'm still living on welfare, trying to get onto disability. And, but I, I just keep pushing, right? It's all about pushing. We keep pushing forward for the better days. And it's not about just doing it for yourself, right? It's also about doing it for your family, right? Uh, but it's not just for your family. Don't, don't, right? You gotta be able to do this. You gotta be here for yourself. But at the same time, you, you can think about the fact that you know, if it, if there's extra motivation behind the fact that your family would miss you, then think about that, right? Like, you got to keep pushing for them as well. That's what I always think about. My, I like, I just, I moved back to Gatineau from Ottawa to be closer to my little brother, right? Because I went a couple years without barely seeing him when I first moved out, and now I see him every weekend, right? It's all, my entire life revolves around being able to see my little brother every single weekend, every single chance I freaking get, right? I don't have a girlfriend, I don't have friends, I don't have, I don't do anything. Every weekend I go over there as early as possible to spend those few minutes with him before he goes off to spend time with his friends. And then maybe see him in the afternoon when he comes home or I'll just wait until the next day and see him again for a few minutes right like all I care about is being there for him oh come on so yeah I just want to say thank you for all of the support we've been getting on the videos lately I said it in yesterday's video but since there's not really many people watching the longer video, we'll put it in here, right? I just want to say thank you. Hundreds of views, 60 views, 80 views, 100 views, 200 views, 300 views. <laughs> all the comments and likes, I just can't thank you all enough. Thank you, thank you. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment with your favorite part. And consider also subscribing for more content Monday to Friday at 9 a.m. And as always, everyone, I'll see y'all tomorrow with another video. Peace out.